What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony, this is Indie for Breakfast. Today I have a game called Robo Blitz, and it's part of the Indie Royale bundle going on right now. With it, you can get not only Robo Blitz, you can also get Robot Riot, which we checked out here on this channel before, uh, Star Drone, Hinterland, Resonance, which is a point and click adventure, uh, Project Aftermath, and of course if you pay at least a certain amount, which I think right now it's $8, you can actually unlock uh, soundtracks for uh, Robo Blitz, Star Drone, Hinterland, and, and several others. So... Today, I wanted to kick things off with Robo Blitz because uh, it seemed kind of a kind of a fun puzzle third person type game. Let's go ahead and jump in here really quick. Now, uh, this game's been out for a bit. It's actually available on uh, Xbox Live. We're gonna go to normal because I'm not a master technician yet. Um, and you can pick it up. So you can pick it up for Xbox Live for 1,200 MSP, or you can pick it up. Let's say if you somehow miss the bundle, uh, you can pick it up from. Uh, Steam for $9.99. Now the translation there is that on Xbox it's available for essentially $15, uh, whereas on the uh, on the PC you can pick it up for obviously you know $10. $10 is always $10, right? So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and kick on hit, uh, keep hints on, because I've only kind of gone through this uh, this initial segment, which is kind of uh, humorous. So we're gonna go ahead and go through it. Hold the button down for three seconds to delete. Oh hey, that's a great way to keep your little brother from deleting your games. Not that I have any experience with that. Jerks. So here we go, story time. Now all of this was done in, uh, it's all based on the Unreal Engine. And it even comes with the editor, so I guess you can jump in there and use Unreal Ed to make modifications specific for this game. Hey Blitz, it's Carl. Let's see, break it down my workshop, use WASD to drive, mouse to aim. So bring me a box instead. Oh. Well, we want to keep some of the story going. That's kind of nice to give you kind of a simple in-game solution to uh, skip the tutorial. I like how they tell you you can skip the tutorial by doing something. God, I was going to go smother with a pillow. Let's see. Let's go ahead and lower the sensitivity on the mouse just, just a smidge. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, there's the box there, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. Whoops. Oh, I'm actually not sure what that does. Huh, roll the mouse wheel. But this will pick it up. My big robo hug arms. Did I just freak out? Hi, <laughs> Blitz. Thanks for bringing the fuel barrel. It'll definitely come in handy. For some of my experiments. In fact, we're gonna cool new tool for you here. I'll give you a sneak peek. This piece of equipment will allow you to bind multiple objects with an elastic energy beam. Think just cause two. Let's see, of course, it has a variety of professional uses. It's orange, I guess it's for master technician. Not for me. Uh-oh. Let's <laughs> get slapped by a big-ass box. <laughs> uh, give me a little time and I'll have it working like a charm. Alright, well. Got a little damage from that explosion. The green indicator on your back shows your health status and it looks like you are down to 50%. That smoke isn't good either. I love I love when games kind of incorporate the, the, the gooey uh, into the uh, the game itself, um, we know that uh, we know Death, obviously Death, Death Space is actually yeah, the perfect example. That's something that everybody can relate to. It's sitting right there, and even on like you know most with most games like first-person shooters, you see the ammo count sitting on the okay, ouch, on the weapon itself. Uh, what was that? So that was my fault. <laughs> Grab a box and run. Oh. Meteor shower. Very confined. Okay, yes. Can I grab this box? I have a box. I'm good. <laughs> Something tells me we've got company. Take it back to main level. Check it out. I'd come, but uh, well, I'm tied to the ceiling. All right. Well, I'll, can I take this box with me? Oh. Is it really that that big, huh? I can't pick it up. Let me see. Let me see if I can. There we go. Nice, a little bit of physics action. Can I reach the button through this thing? Uh, uh. 
Ah, Jesus, get out of the way, box! Get out of the button. <laughs> it's just... Go check out that noise, that noise is me, dude. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I can't really, I can probably, ugh. I refuse to not take this box with me. Uh oh. Oh no. That's a space pirate scout. Blitz, this means trouble. Destroy him at once. He looks vulnerable. Try smashing him with an object like a barrel. Or a giant box. Jump first and then smash. Well, I can't really jump that high. So how about we just smash? I can barely even see the guy. Here we go. I think he's right. <laughs> you can do a special spin move that can help fighting enemies. Oh. Just spin full circle, tap Q. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we could. Spinning something, kick. Whoa! Oh, man! <laughs> yeah, twice direction you want to dash. Ooh! What is up? Oops, whoops, whoops. Wrong button! Practice my, my juke skills. Oh. Oh, man. Picking up stuff is not easy. Oh. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Damn. Box storm. Without holding an object, it won't be as effective, but when in need, your arms can be a weapon. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Put it down. Good job, Blitz. Those crashes. I think we're being invaded. If these pirates get a hold of the space cannon, well, that's bad news. I love the space pirate scouts, my space cannon. <laughs> so many generic terms. Uh, let me see. I'm actually going to change something really quick. Controls. Uh, see, that, that Q and E thing, I would like to be, uh, let's see. This? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't sign it to the, really? My other buttons on my mouse? Oh, damn, that's, a, that's annoying to have it there. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just escape. That's. I think that's purely my mouse. A mouse issue. I need to tell it. Super Logitech drivers. All right. What are we doing next? Ah, forget that. No, 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 no. No. Go. I want my box. I'm just gonna take my box. All right. What's next? Space cannons this way. Is there a uh, button to open up the space cannon door? I think I missed that part. Let's go back. Oh, okay. There we go. This is bad, Blitz. Worse than I thought. The baddies seem to be warping in from orbit. I'm pretty sure something was up there was something up there was controlling them. If I knew anything about space pirates. I'd say it was Mag Magneo. All I see is V V V V V V. <laughs> Those things are mean. We gotta get the space cannon up and running so we can blast Mega Neode. Node. Mega Node. <laughs> Mega Node. <laughs> for orbit. Uh, do so, you have to get all six wings of this facility. Ooh, wow. Up and running. That sounds like a lot of work. Ugh. I don't know if I'm up to. There's ammunition depot, of course. You'll need to build and load a projectile for the railgun. Of course, of course, let's see. The fans and the coolant. Man, I have to do all the work here, huh? And the inverse Tesla coil in the electrical system needs to be energized as well. The conveyors, can I just come back and just tell me what to do next? <laughs> Basically go into every door and do something. We can't aim the cannon without first calibrating the radar station. And finally, we need to extract the firing codes from the security vault. Don't worry about the order you activate the systems. Just make sure you get them all. Remember to access each wing first pass through its airlock. Once inside the entry room, the colored lamps will indicate which objectives are accessible. Yellow objectives can be attempted, red object objectives cannot. 
To attempt an objective, you must configure the room appropriately. Oh, weird. Oh, I see. When that is done, the objective light will turn green. Okay. Simply enter the tube to head to facility. Interesting. You need some sort of weapon. Hmm. Oh yeah, that thing that just exploded in my face. Give me that. The device can generate pulses of... Hmm... EMP rifle. I don't know. Nice. I like how you finish that off with that. I don't know. <laughs> Upgradium! <laughs> uh, make sure you find some bulletonium for your weapon. <laughs> this is like, it's so straightforward. Let's see, to use the machine. Uh, okay, I want to build. There we go. And I have super arms. What's up? That swole has Popeye arms? Yeah. Oh, laser arm. That's right. EMP rifle. Blue meter on your back lowers. Uh, you fire weapon, the more your energy will drop. Is it, does it regenerate? Yes. Okay, good. Battery packs for a quick fix. How to change weapons. You can cycle weapons with the mouse scroll wheel. That's what I was doing earlier. That was really strange looking. Or press number of key, the number of keys to quickly switch to a different weapon. All right. Press one to quickly like grab your arms. I like that they call it grabby arms. Just, I, I like that everything in, in, in this game is just so straightforward and simple. You, you can't mess it up. It's like, well, how do I grab this thing? Oh, that's right. Grabby arms. Oh, grabby, grabby arms. Yes, that's right. And smash, 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 smash. And throw, throw. Can I, can I, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Nice. Okay, I'm out. All right, so yeah, lots of stuff to do. Let's go uh, in here first. Oh, come on. And door opens, and we go in. Sweating bullets, it says. So we have multiple stages per wing, huh? Uh, we have to create a giant bullet for the space cannon. <laughs> One giant bullet. So they can get the shredder running. You'll need to dump all the metal you can find. Oh, great. It's gonna be a whole lot of grabbing those boxes and throwing them in, uh, what? Where's the blender at? Oh, right there. There we go. Oh. Got a little bit of a- everything is very physics-based. I, I had to actually work up speed to make up that little hill. I uh, see. Giant metal plate thing. Whoops. Lasers. Grab your arms. <laughs> this is good. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, that one's a bit harder to harder to move. I am not good at that. Oh, here we go. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fumble around with this. Perfect. <laughs> this works. Totally works. Bam. Okay. Well, that was that wasn't very impressive the way that broke apart. But all right, we'll take it. I shall accept. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Perfect. Oh, what's he want? Let's see. Look for a shredder? Okay, yep. No. Nah. Wait, wait. Oh, is it up there? No. That that was correct. Oh, what the Can I grab him? Can I hug him? Yes! <laughs> I didn't think I could do this. So I think I just destroyed stuff I wasn't supposed to. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on, hug your arms. 
Oh, I can't make up the hill because I'm carrying too heavy. Ah. Huh. Okay, that's enough. What else is back here? Hmm. A button? Nope. There's some upgrading them back there, but I'm just gonna leave it there for the moment until I figure something else out. Oh! This is great! Oh, oh! <laughs> Come on! Oh, well, that didn't work out. Let's pick up and slam him, I guess, a couple times. There we go, there we go. Oh. Let's see, right here. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> it's just like. Uh... Let's get my upgradium. Oh. Oh. Uh, but that'll last a little bit longer. Uh. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Smash his face. Get a little bit of damage. Uh, we're just like, we're just totally in just explore mode right now. I'm surprised it let me go so far. I'm starting to lose track of what my, what the point of this level was. <laughs> Wait, does that really just go kind of like nowhere? Hmm, we'll figure out, find out in a second. All right. Ah, okay. The shredder is activated. You need seven metal objects before having enough to, okay. Hmm. I can handle this. Thankfully, the entire area is completely infested with baddies. Start by using the vent system to flush out drones. Oh, that's okay, I'll do that. <laughs> there are no there are other vents around the facility, be sure to use them. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh Jesus. I was gonna hurt him in like cattle. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Did I get him? Yes, I got him. Okay. Keep him. I wanna keep him there. How did I get this thing jammed up in there? <laughs> uh, the game is so free for him that you could actually mess it up some. I can't, uh, 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 I can't move it. There we go. Uh, <laughs> they do a good job making you feel like you're actually carrying something heavy. All right, come on, guy. like a dog trying to carry a, a bone through it through his doggy door I don't want to talk to you guy I should turn off hints there you go that's how I want it let's get bonus for this guy oops wrong way excuse me excuse me throw metal inside the shredder you can use yes 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 objects in the conveyor belts yep whoa okay there we go now we're getting shot Uh, 
that upgradium. No, no, no. Um, yeah. I wonder if I can, uh, oh, there's a conveyor belt right there. Oh, there's, there's a whole bunch of pieces right here. Jeez. There you go. I am terrible at grabbing things. And that should be it. Great work. Slug machines are ready to manufacture a cannon slug. The activation console is on the first floor in front of the shredder system. Ah, okay. Let's see. Wow. Here, let me help you out. Holy crap. <laughs> Please, let me help you. Oh, I'm low on health. Well, my plan to smash him with a gigantic manhole cover failed. I love how loud this game is. I love that it's just like, it, it, it's just chilled and all of a sudden just bam, 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 bam. Notice that the character actually looks at, in the direction of things that are firing at him. It's convenient. Go get my bat. Anybody else? <laughs> oh, whoops, okay. Had to load it first. Oh, which one was that? In it was in front of the shredder. Oh, that's the one I activated there on the other room, right? How oh, we just walk by terminals? Oh, it was the one. Yeah, it was the one on the floor. I don't think I. I don't think I triggered that one actually. This guy. The one I slammed that dude's face into. Grading projectile. Ooh. Shiny. I see some upgradium over there. I need to go pick it up. Oh, that's it. What the hell is this dance? Recycling was never this much fun. If only we could get some spare change out of it as well. We'd be rich. The lights above each entrance signify which levels have been beaten. Green levels have been completed. Red ones have not. Hey Blitz, don't forget that there are plenty of upgrades you can build once you've collected some upgradium. Just come down to my workshop. I will. I'll bring that box too. Because bitches love boxes! Oh! <laughs> There's a box. Oh, that's right. Uh, pulse cannon. I choose don't build. Okay, I guess I just have to build. Curious. Oh, that one does damage. What else? Firework launcher. Uh, I don't have that much upgradium. But oh, this is great. What is this floating thing here? Okay, can't charge it up. Just a basic, basic shoot. Shoot, do damage weapon. This is, uh, I, I would definitely put this in, like, for example, if I wanted to say, like, my kid, right? If he gets old enough to play games like, uh, 
portal or something. Like I'd put this right in line with that because it's 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 something that'll teach. I mean, it's a fun game. It's 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 very simple upgradium, right? So that's I think that's one of the reasons I use simple terms. It's very appealing to the younger audience. I don't know why I'm grabbing this. But like, you're damn right my kid's gonna be playing Portal, right? I mean, he's gotta learn, he's, he's, he's gotta learn who Gladys is eventually. I mean, the kid's gotta, gotta be getting himself a, a, companion, a, a companion cube plushie here very shortly. Main generator. But yeah, he definitely, uh, definitely something like this I'd put in line with that. Simple, very simple game, simple concept. Teaches you, uh, it's, it's physics based, so kind of gives you uh, kind of a bit of a uh, an awareness on how things interact with each other. In a sense, it's not it's not completely unrealistic, right? When I carry something too heavy, I can't go up a hill, right? That's something that you don't necessarily learn unless you actually do it. You see, it demonstrated in a game is also kind of uh, it's good because it's fairly realistic. See, I'm dragging things on the ground. I can't uh, makes it hard to move. Let's just slam this thing. Can I slam it? There we go. All this upgradium uh, is really powerful if you head. Okay, that's what stopped me. All right, Jesus. <laughs> Quantum conundrum. There we go. That's another one that I would uh, put in line with portal. Okay, don't, don't fall. Basically, don't fall. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> But we had to see what happens if you die anyways. Game over. Continue from here. That first jump literally is a doozy, okay. <laughs> I, I wanna use my, my pulse rifle or whatever, but I kinda wanna see what happens, right? Let's see. If I blast them out of the sky. Oh. Stay down. Oh, there he goes. Oh wait. This way. Woo! Look at this big angry dude. Oh, I, this is straight up dancing right here. Do 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 da -na, da -na, da -na. Oh, come on come on come on come on don't be scared don't be scared Ooh, get some speed get up on that yeah all right <laughs> oh. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it fun. It's doing ridiculous stuff like that. I do love me some physics games. Physics puzzlers. Nope. Oh. There we go. I do wish there was no gun in the game though. Make it just completely reliant on different types of gizmos and gadgets. Nothing else in here? Okay, good. What a loud game. Okay, I kinda want I want that, so. Oh. Yeah, forget it. I don't want it. I changed my mind. I'm out. Now it stands up. Nice. Alright, so that giant fan should not be working now. Well these guys. Come with me. Whoops. That was an accident. Fan is off. Upgradium. Get in my stuff.
The generator for the main fan is just on the other side of those gears. Load it with one fuel barrel and it will start right up. Let me get this little gradient first because I want it to pull me out of the level when I'm still... Ah, there we go. <laughs> Is that where it goes? Oh, right here. There we go. And doing your funky dance. Uh <laughs> So, I mean, cute game, right? Like, it's definitely, it's, it's a puzzle that's probably gonna get more difficult later on. Uh, definitely an all ages game for sure. You know, it, it, it was kind of a giveaway with the, uh, the very ba the basic terminology, you know, upgradium, come on, you know? La laser cannon, space pirate scouts, I mean, come on, you can't get any more, uh, you can't get any more simpler than that. So, <laughs> I definitely, uh, I would, rec I, would re I would recommend this for kids so far. I, I do a full playthrough first. Um, just to make sure, like, you don't get to the point where you like, I don't know, like, your friend here is like, Oh, hey, I developed this chainsaw accessory that you can attach. Just hit four to just slice people in half. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure that doesn't exist. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, a uh, fun game and part of the Indoreal bundle, uh, which is going on right now and only for the next several days. Beyond that, though, if you have an Xbox 360, you can purchase it anytime for 1200 MSP, uh, or from Steam if you guys end up missing out on the bundle for 999. Uh, there are, I believe, 15 levels uh, here. I mean, if we just look at this, the we have three levels per room here. Uh, actually, the, the write-up said 15, but the math here doesn't quite work out. Yeah, 15 levels of high-intensity action. So, I mean, I guess, you know, however you want to break that out, sure, why not? So, definitely go and check it out uh, as part of the bundle. I'll be check taking a look at a couple more games uh, through, I think, Wednesday. I'm not sure what time Wednesday it's going to be ending. But I'll figure it out, and depending on how early it is, I may I may or may not cover another game on that day. So that's it, guys. Mike AK Phony. This is any for breakfast. This game is called Robo Blitz. Ah. Okay. And that is all.